How can you scan your folders with Excel VBA? That's the issue of this video. In the past you could do so with the file search option, but file search doesn't exist anymore. It has been replaced by the dir function. D -I -R. The dir function is a, a pretty good function, but you have to know how to use it. I assume that you know how to create Visual Basic code, so here I'm just going to say what the code would be like. You need to declare your variables in a subroutine. I call it scan folder. And of course you uh, have to declare your variables with a dim statement. My first variable is of the array type. These parentheses indicate to the compiler that it's going to be an array that can hold multiple entries of the string type. Then I declared object type variables. I always start them with a lowercase o for a files system and a text system. I will explain what that is. And a worksheet of the worksheet type in Excel. Then we have a few regular variables of the string type for the directory and for the file, for a filter, for the extension of a file name, and I as a counter. In SDIR we store the path of the active workbook. That path is somewhere on your C drive probably or wherever it is. Path will know what that long string looks like. Then in SFilter we store what the user wants to use as a filter. By default, I said we are looking for Excel files, comma, asterisk of the XLSX type. So that is default, so the user can change it into XLS if they are looking for older files or, or for Word files or access files. It doesn't matter. In S extension, we take from S filter the right part where the extension starts, in this case XLSX. So how do we find that right part? We don't know how long it is, three characters, four characters or whatever. So we take the length of the entire filter minus we look for the string position in the reversed order of the dot position. So it starts at the end looking for the dot position and that in string position will be this one. So we subtract that position from the length so, and there is more code coming. We are going to search either in the current folder or somewhere else. So the beginning is what we just discussed. Then we are going to ask the user, do you want the current folder? Yes or no? If they we give them the option yes, no. If they say yes, then we are going to do something else we are going to do something else and we close with and if. What if they want the first part in the current folder? Then we are going to store in sdir, the variable sdir, the path of the active workbook. If they want to look somewhere else, we are going to give them the option to choose in which folder they want to start. We use Excel's application get opened file name, that is a dialog box. It uses the, the filter options, in our case Excel files.xlsx or whatever as filter is. If they had cancelled that get opened file name dialog box, then S file has false in it, so we exit the subroutine. Otherwise, we take the left part from S file. We look for the backslash in a reverse order. That position minus one. Next step. We search for files in that folder with the dir function that has replaced file search. We store in S file whatever the dir function returns based on the folder path backslash asterisk 
and then all the files with that extension, xlsx or whatever you had chosen. There keeps returning file names. And at the moment it doesn't return anything anymore. S file will have received from there an empty string. So we do a loop while S file is not empty or do until S file becomes empty. We loop and now we are going to store all those files in the string array, array files. Each time we redim array files to, to more and more elements. Make sure you add the word preserve, otherwise it empties the previous one. So the first time i is zero. So we are going to implement the zeroth index, which is element one. But arrays are zero based. Then we store in that first element whatever the file name was that came out of the first dir search. And we reset as file to the next dir return, whatever comes out of the function dir. And it keeps doing that in a loop. And make sure that you update i plus one. So the next time we will redim the array to element one, two which is i1, index 1, element 2. If it didn't find anything in that directory of that file type, in other words, if i equals 0, so it has never gone through this line, then we t tell the user no files were found and exit the sub. Finally, where do you want to store those file names? You can either put them in an Excel worksheet or something else. Let's start with Excel first. So we ask the user, do you want them in an Excel file or in a text file? If they say yes, then we store them in Excel. So we use the variable OWS of the worksheet type. We set it to the collection of worksheets in the active workbook by adding one new worksheet. I want to avoid that we overwrite something in an existing file. We loop through the array for i equals zero, remember arrays are zero bound, to u bound, the last elements index in array files, and in the first cell a1 a1 means cells. I is zero, but rows and columns are not zero base, but one base, so we have to add one. In the first column, we store the first element of the array. And we keep doing that until we reach the last index of array files. And I keeps going up from zero to one to two, etc., to the end. Else, we are going to do that on the next slide. If people want a text file, we have to do a little more. We are now in the else statement. We have to create an object of the scripting file system object. And we make OFS point to that object. Now we need to create a text file in that file system object, OFS, create text file, based on sdir that we had determined in the previous code. And we are going to add to that directory a new file backslash, let's call it file listing.txt. True means that if it exists already, we are going to overwrite it. And we write first the line, the xlsx files as they were found in s directory. We loop again through the array and we write a line in the text file, the first element from the array, second element, etc. And then finally we tell the user that the list can be found in file listing.txt. 
uh, it's it's good policy in general to set those two object type variables to nothing. You don't have to. Excel takes care of it in VBA, but still, it's it, it it looks clean. So let's find out how the code works. I put the code in this Excel file. I gave that subroutine a shortcut key, Control Shift S. So if I do Control Shift S, I should get the input box that says, "What is your filter?" By default, Excel files of the XLS type. Okay, it. Say, so do you want to do the current folder? Let's say yes. Write to Excel. Let's say yes. And notice it created a new sheet that has all these files. And I'm going to run it again. Control Shift S of the XLS X type. This time I'm going to say no, not the current folder. So I get the dialog box that allows me to search wherever I want to be. So I click on one of these. So I am now in the folder classes Excel class Excel 2007. Write to Excel. Let's say yes. It inserted a new sheet and put all the information in there. Let's run it again. This time we are going to do text files. Current folder, say yes. No, we are going to write it to a text file. And it tells us the list can be found in file listing.txt. Let's look there. And there is file listing.txt. When you open it, you will see that all those files were nicely stored in there. All of this was done with the scan folder subroutine that we discussed extensively. If you want to know more about this, and I'm sure you do, for this was just the tip of the iceberg, I developed two CDs for you. One is called Excel 2007 VBA, and the other one is called VB Scripts. VB Scripts works with text files easily. And the code we use to write text files is basically a VB Script option. So I want you to know about VB Script. If you need more information, go to this CD or that CD and they will tell you what to do. You can find them on MrExcel.com or Amazon.com. And just type my name, Gerard Verschuren in Amazon.com search box or Barnes and Noble or wherever you go and you will find these tools and many others. I wish you good luck.